Participation is the way in which we engage and exercise our rights. We all participate in conversations and decisions on a daily basis about who we want to represent us, where we live, what we want to eat, and so much more. In an emergency, people's ability to participate in decisions that affect their daily lives can be limited. But life without a say in decisions which affect you is not dignified. Prolonged lack of participation means communities don't feel ownership of the aid they receive and don't feel responsible for it. This can erode not only dignity, but self-reliance and self-esteem. Participation in the context of a displacement setting does not happen naturally. It is a process which needs to be integrated into all stages of a site's life cycle, from design and setup to closure. CCCM is responsible for making sure this participation happens. Affected populations are obviously the best people to identify their own needs and this is why participation is at the core of CCCM programming. The displaced community needs to be represented at all layers of humanitarian response. And the links formed should give people the necessary opportunities to meaningfully participate in the day-to-day -day running of their displacement site, allowing them to maintain their dignity reduce vulnerability and build their capacity. Women, girls, people with disabilities and other at-risk groups that are systematically underrepresented must be included in a safe way. Whilst it is important to respect the displaced community's culture, CCCM also mitigates any exploitative or oppressive power relationships that might exist in those cultures and traditions. The inclusion of women, girls, people with disabilities and other at-risk groups may continue to be limited, but new tools and approaches keep being developed to promote their inclusion. Remember, participation is a fundamental human right.